In this tutorial, I'd like to show you Awesome iPhone. Awesome iPhone brings you 3D models of iPhones to use as a special effect for your footage or even demo an iOS app. Awesome iPhone was designed exclusively for Final Cut Pro 10. You can find it in the effects browser under Awesome iPhone. There are three effects included. I've got some footage on my timeline. It has a few edits in it, so I'll create a compound clip and drop the iPhone effect onto the whole thing. Immediately, we'll see the footage composited on a 3D model of an iPhone and some on-screen controls. If I play back the default effect, we can see the iPhone travel from point A to point B with a spin in the middle. There is a handy guide on screen that shows us the position and rotation as the animation progresses. I can also reposition the on-screen pucks to change the position and orientation of the A and B points. In the parameters, the travel dropdown allows us to control what the animation does. Here it says A to B, and you can manually dial in the A and B position down below for precision or position matching. Note that zero degrees rotation puts the iPhone upright in portrait layout, and 90 degrees puts it on its side in landscape layout. We have many different options in the travel dropdown, including going to and from full screen. A to A and B to B travel restrict the iPhone to one position. I can make the iPhone have a subtle, elegant turn by setting the flips and spins to zero, then unchecking the A to A, B to B rotation lock and adjusting the lower puck's orientation. Flips are animated rotations around the portrait length of the phone. Spins are animated rotations around the landscape length. Using edit points on the compound clip and then multiple instances of the awesome iPhone effect would allow me to do complex animations, such as an off-screen A to B to reveal the iPhone, B to a newly positioned A in the second segment, then finish with the A going full screen. We can change the iPhone model. The scale slider controls the size of the iPhone. The glare slider controls the amount of reflection. This becomes very evident during any flips or spins. At the beginning, our footage is in landscape layout and is displaying improperly when the phone is in portrait. That's where the screen roller effect comes in. Any effects placed above the iPhone will apply only to the content within the device. Any place below will also affect the iPhone itself. I'll set the orient change to portrait to landscape, denoted by a vertical and horizontal line. I'll keyframe the transition slider where the animation happens in the iPhone model. Then I'll simply change the portrait scale parameter to fit the video on screen when the phone is upright. And here we have a complex animation of a great looking iPhone 3D model created in minutes. Awesome iPhone is a great special effect for your video toolbox and a must have if you're an iOS developer that would like to demo your app professionally. FX Factory offers a huge selection of great effects, and if you don't have them yet, I suggest you go try them out at fxfactory.com.